Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, um, before we get started in your reading, I wanted to share with you um, all the, these fabulous decks that I'm giving away um, to five lucky winners for the Christmas giveaway this year. Yay! Um, to enter to win one of these uh, fabulous decks, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and type in the name of the deck that you want to win in the comment section, okay? Um, then we're going to randomly draw the five lucky winners, and I'm going to announce the winners' names on um, Christmas Day, okay? So anyway, the decks that I have here are the Lucky Journey deck, okay? Um, really fabulous illustrations in this deck. I love it. Then we have the beginner tarot cards. This spells everything out on each card. Um, it's great to, um, to have this deck if you want to learn how to read tarot, okay? Then we have the Star Kiss Tarot deck. This is a, it's, it's really an intuitive deck. Um, I mean, it's, it's a fabulous, beautiful deck, and it's really great for intuitive readers, okay? Then we have this Garbage Pail Kids deck, which is super fun, and um, it's pretty popular every giveaway, so you have another chance to win this one, and this beautiful Cat Tarot deck, which is the most popular in the giveaways, actually. Um, so yeah, all these five decks I'm giving away for Christmas, to enter to win one of these guys, um, you, all you need to do is be a subscriber and type in the name of the deck you want to win in the comment section. Yay! So go for it, everybody, and good luck. All right, so for this reading, you guys, I'm asking Spirit the question, what are they hiding, right? What is this person hiding from you? Um, and Spirit is leading me to use the flash deck, okay? So um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, all the likes, all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining this family out here. And welcome to everybody new here. I'm Mammy Becca. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It is super cold in Wisconsin, you guys. Cold and windy kind of yucky day okay maybe that's how your person is feeling i don't know um what are they hiding what do they not want my collective to know this is a divine masculine card that we're talking about they're scared that you're going to find something out okay <laughs> they're scared you're going to find something out um yeah i feel like there's a lot of gossip going on about this person i i'm kind of getting the sense that this is coming out like with a feeling of avoidance okay um yeah there's a lot of talk on the street okay talk on the street about this person and they don't want you to hear any of it they're afraid so what um oh yeah what are they hiding I feel like there's somebody that they've been around that is um, spreading some gossip and rumors about them. And it's got to be the truth if they're this scared about it. Yeah, they're, they're like scared. It's something that's going to make you feel sick. Okay. Or they're feeling really sick these days. This person could be having some stomach issues. Um, they're, they're discussing things with a friend. I feel like they're confiding in somebody about this. They don't want you to find this out. You're their true soulmate connection here. Okay? This is a, a divine masculine, divine feminine. Yeah, this person is worried. They've got... They may even be getting this is cold feet and it's making me feel like um there could be an engagement or something what yeah they feel sick over this i just saw the sick card yeah look what they don't want you to know is they could have been tricked or trapped i feel like they're trapped into committing to someone 
I feel like though somebody is also like telling their secrets or something like that. This could be something that's put online as well with this exposure out here. They're not happy about it. They're mad. So I feel like they got either tricked or trapped into like a marriage maybe or an engagement. Oh, wait, though. Yeah. Somebody here is leaving. Okay? Yeah, their life is crap. They don't want you to know this. They're stuck in some kind of turmoil. Okay? And I feel like it's a karmic situation, right? Um, Spirit's been warning them about this person. I get that they're feeling like a fool. They want to move. So um, maybe this person had gotten committed, right? And maybe they bragged about it or something or put it online, something like that. But I feel like they're, um, they're wanting to leave. Somebody is maybe even getting kicked out of a home situation. They could end up homeless. See, that's why they're confiding in a friend. Um, they're scared. They got nowhere to go. So this person is possibly hiding the fact that they could be homeless, booted out. There was a commitment here. This person was loyal. Um, they, they have been not, not to you, mind you. I feel like this is somebody who walked away from you and got in a karmic situation. They got themselves trapped in and now they're getting kicked out. This person is getting kicked out. See the arrow. And this karmic is like laughing about it, making fun of them maybe behind the scenes now. Maybe, um, maybe trash talking them, telling their intimate secrets, putting some intimate secrets out there, things they don't want, this masculine does not want you to see. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe at one point, when this person um, got into a commitment with this karmic, that was put out on the internet. Now it's stuff about this masculine that's making him look like a complete fool out here. Yeah. Then they're going to be homeless. So you may find out um, that this person is about to be homeless. They're being kicked out of a living situation. You know, I'm also feeling like, too, that maybe this was about money. Um, maybe this person could have been um, provided for by this karmic. Yeah, look. I feel like this karmic is saying things like this person was a cheater. They've been in and out of jail. They've been abusive. Oh, maybe that's the secret. That's the secret. And it's, it's, yeah. This is a big lie, I feel. Um, they're spreading around that this person, they could have even had them sent to jail. They could have said some kind of lie that there was some kind of domestic abuse or something like that. There was some kind of fight that popped off. Um, I, they, this person's been tricked, trapped. I, they could have been sent to jail, and now they're being kicked out of a home. There could even, this is what this is, they could even have a restraining order against them. So they are forced to leave, and they don't have a place to stay. So I feel like this karmic spread a bunch of lies about this person, got them put into jail, Oh my gosh, they're in, yeah, and here's the thing, they don't want you to know this collective because you're the greatest of all time in their eyes. This masculine, uh, you're, to, you're going on an, a new adventure anyway. <laughs> this is a new portal for you, okay, um, and a new path for you into brighter days. I feel like you're leaving all of this behind because this this person, you know, they're realizing they chose something toxic over a divine feminine. Right? We got divine masculine, divine feminine here. They chose something absolutely toxic when they could have been on a path to wish fulfillment with you. Okay? So they feel like a complete fool. 
they know also if you find out this information, you're going to see them as being toxic and they'll never get another chance with you again. So they're hiding a lot here, okay? They're hiding a lot here. Um, all of this, they don't want you to know any of this, okay? Because they don't want you to leave them forever. Yeah, and it was all about money. I, I feel like all this karmic, all this karmic did was spend their money and I feel like when this person, it was all spent and they still wanted you, I feel like this karmic spread some kind of lies about them or started a fight and then, and then put them in jail um, for some kind of abuse, okay? And now I feel like this karmic's made them not just broke but homeless as well. They don't have a place to go. Like, they really pretty much flushed their future down the toilet. And it was all about money. Yeah, they may need to sleep on somebody's couch because they're going to be homeless. I feel like this person, um, this person's going to need a place to stay, but they're not coming towards you with that information they do not want see this person wants you to think that everything is great with them they don't want you to know that they're going through this mess it's ruined their reputation it's bankrupt them uh they have no money left okay it's made them homeless it's put them in jail you're i feel like you're gonna find out about this Okay, because it's kind of being spread all over. Yeah, look, all of this talk, <laughs> right? Yep, 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 yep. All from a toxic karmic. This is all toxic gossip. But I feel like it's in, it's like in your community. So I feel like you're gonna hear something about this. And they are dreading that. They're dreading it. They don't want you to know. They want you to see them as being spotless, okay? They don't want you to be thinking that this person is this toxic. You know, I feel like spirit is um, pointing them in, in a new direction. I, I'm getting the sense that they're having a major tower moment here, and spirit is helping them to rebuild. They, they have to start out from scratch. This person literally has nothing left. Wow. And this is what they're afraid of you finding out. If you find out this information collective, their goose is cooked. They'll never have another chance with you again. Okay? Like, for real. Because you can't trust that. How are you going to, you know, how are you going to trust this person again? You already, they've already broken your trust. Yeah, you will cut them out. That's it. There will be no communicating to you, with you. You may already have this person blocked off your phone. Yeah, if you find this out, this is, um, this is exposure, right? If you find this out, you will never give them the time of day. You're not, you will cut this energy out because you're not going to want to be around anyone else who's, who's toxic. You're not going to want to be in this karmic storm that this person is in right now. Because that's what it feels like to me. Okay? Just a lot of darkness. A storm. A stormy day. That's what they're having. Okay? Yeah, because you're just going to see them as being toxic. You'll turn your back on them. Oh, collective. And right now, this person feels very alone. Um, because everyone is believing this, this story from the karmic, like she's, this was a setup. It, she set him up, sent him to jail, told a bunch of lies, pretended that he did something physical to her. Uh, I feel like they're under some kind of restraining order as well. He may not be able to get near his money. He may not be able to get, um, into his home. He's going to have to stay on somebody's couch. 
I, I mean, they don't want you to know any of this, okay? <laughs> oh. um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Leo, you could be a Leo. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Virgo. It could be for any sign, okay? Take it how it resonates. Anyway, that's what I have for this quick reading, you guys. I do hope this helps. Um, this is what they don't want you to know, okay? Um, man, this is a major karmic storm hitting this person all at once. It's crazy. Anyway, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.